Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Spare to Dowsi. I'm Dowsi LeMay. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me today, wherever you are in the world. I appreciate it. Uh, so today I want to talk about how people are going crazy and the crazier are going crazier and the people you didn't know who you thought were, uh, were crazy are going to go crazy, especially if they are unaware of who they are, right? Your world and people's worlds are going to feel intense and insane, right? And so before I go any further, know that these are my truths. These are my experiences that have guided me down my own spiritual path. They don't have to be yours. So use your own discernment. Take what resonates with you and leave the rest. All I'm asking is that you keep an open mind. So how can we say this? The crazy are going to go crazy. The people who you thought weren't crazy are going to go crazy. It is going to be crazy times and your world is going to feel like insane, insanity. It's going to feel like insanity is the normal. And here's part of the reason why I think that happens. Number one is that you and I and the rest of us creators out there are, are in the belief, in, in the illusion that we feel separate from source, that we feel disconnected, that we believe in fear and separation and, and disconnection, right? Which is a lie, which is an illusion because we are always loved. We are always connected. We are always part of that which is always out there, which is source. But because of that illusion of which we are building our reality on, which is based on this illusion of fear and separation, disconnection, we are creating realities that are insane, right? Insane because they aren't real. It's not truth. It is the illusion that you believe that you were in separation and disconnection and fear, right? That, that, that initial concept of separation is what is causing all of us to have this gravitational well within us collapsing our reality of which we placed our intention of whether it be good or bad or negative or positive or whatever sense of duality or separation or fear that we have placed out into our world. That emotional charge that we have given to it, that power that we have placed into that intention is collapsing within our reality. The weight of which we have placed into that which is good or bad or positive or negative or ju uh, justice or injustice or right or wrong or light or dark, or dark is collapsing within us. The weight of that judgment is collapsing within us to the point where we're going to explode like a star collapsing on its own weight, blowing up to the awareness of what it is. That is what it feels like is happening to many of us, right? You don't really need to look that far. You just need to look at your own circle. You need to look at your own self. You need to look at your friends. And if you really want to reach out, go out into the human collective. What do you find out there? You're finding people acting crazy. You're finding people's realities are being highly met through deep amount of contrast, deep amount of, of, of let's say, uh, um, I would say opposition to make you feel like the rest of the world is crazy. To make you think that what your perspective is, which could be deemed as common sense, is met by people who are just absolutely mentally gone. Whether you're on one side of the fence or the other side of the fence, the opposition to make you believe that your common sense thoughts, what you deem to be good or bad or whatever it is, is correct, but you see insane, crazy people out in the world contrasting your belief. And it set a level of intensity and variance that we've never seen in our life before. It is needed for you and I to wake up to what we are, right? Through that process, what you are also finding is that because of these in extreme intensities of which people's contrasts are, people are being emotionally, energetically triggered to act out in patterns of extremes based on the things they're holding on to. You're seeing people unconsciously act out in fear and separation and all that illusion of which they believe they are separate so that they, can sell, they themselves can see that this no longer serves them. So they themselves can act out as a catalyst for someone else to wake up as well. You're seeing insane sensations, insane experiences, insane levels of realities 
all because we have placed our energetic attention, energetic emotion and beliefs in the identity of separation, fear, disconnection, good and bad duality. And it's thrust upon us individually, whether you are experiencing in your external world or you're finding it within yourself to go through the inner journey to neutralize that charge, to neutralize the duality, to neutralize that weight of which you have placed your intention into good or bad, whatever it is, on the dual scale, so that you know, so you don't have that energetic charge within your reality. So you wake up to say, I am the one that holds the key to the balance and the joy and love and peace of my life by no longer placing this level of belief into that this needs to be justified and this is injustice and this is good and this is bad. That is what you're finding. Those types of things are happening every single day. I know from my experience, I decided to play around with it. Even though I knew what was going to happen, I decided to play around with it. So I jump on social media, I find some things that I believe that I think resonate with me and I think has some level of truth with it, especially around masks and this pandemics. And what happens, I'm immediately met with a high level of contrast, a violent reaction about my own beliefs and how ridiculous my, thing, uh, my thinking is. All to make me feel the things that I'm holding on to, right? Feeling more powerless, feeling more angry, feeling that I need to be right and I need to prove myself. All these different things being pulled out via this particular experience. On top of that, I'm sure many of you guys have had in the last month or so, reactions to things in your world where you felt like you were acting out in unconscious ways. Like you're saying, wow, I have been really working on this particular thing in my life and all of a sudden I had something happen and boom, you're acting out in a pattern that you thought you had been dealing with. And it was unconscious. You were almost like you just fell right into it. That is what you're seeing happening out in the collective, but at a grand scale, at a much extreme scale. Because those of who've been watching my video and, work, and looking and doing the inner work don't have that emotional charge to react in that sense of extreme, to have your catalyst of your reality, your external reality collapse on you so that you explode out in all these emotional energetic ways so that you can be catalyzed to understand who you are and what you truly are and that you're the one holding the power to your own happiness based on the things you're putting your attention into. This is what these times are called for. This is what the awakening is. So if you are one of these people who are having this sensation of what is insane, insanity in our world, and you feel like every single day you are met with the craziness of people, and you're wondering why this is happening, and you're feeling energetically just pulled all over the place, energetically, emotionally, because you're angry and you want to say that these people are wrong, and etc., then I highly recommend you consider the death card. The tarot death card. This was pulled out for me today for the energetics and what I want you to understand with the death card doesn't mean necessarily the physical death of something. It could be the metaphorical death of something that needs to end. Something that you need to look at internally to understand what are you holding on to that no longer serves you? What are you holding on to energetically? Attachments into your world, judgments, intentions, beliefs, that no longer need to move forward with you, that need to basically die in a metaphorical sense so that you can find more balance in your life, so that you can transmute and integrate that energy and become whole in the new you that you wanna be. What in your life do you need to let go of? What beliefs, intentions, etc., do you need to let go of so that you can find more balance, so that you can find the neutral, point of your energetic charge so that the energetic charge can be neutralized so you can move forward in a different energy, one that is more around peace, love, and happiness. Okay? So I hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, please reach out to me uh, at spiritualdowsy at gmail.com. Subscribe to my video, comment, leave a message, or follow me on Facebook or Instagram at spiritualdowsy at gmail.com. I hope uh, you guys are doing well. We'll talk to you soon. Take care.